What's up everybody, how's it going? In this video, I wanna tell you, a software engineer or a prospective software engineer, why you should work at Google and Facebook. I know I've made a lot of videos on my channel talking about Google and Facebook, some of their perks, some of the things about the companies that you might not know about, how to get into those companies. So some of you might be thinking, well, Clement, why are you making this video now? You've talked about this kind of in the past. Well, the reason I'm making this video is because lately I've seen a trend online, on YouTube, on Reddit, on Twitter, all sorts of places, where people have started to espouse this idea that working at Google or Facebook or Fang in general is overrated and isn't really as good as it's portrayed to be. And some of the arguments that I've heard some people give have been really based on misconceptions, like for instance the misconception that if you work at a company like Google you're going to be overworked, you're going to be working all sorts of hours, we'll talk about that in a little bit, or misconceptions around how much you're getting paid at companies like Google. I even heard one person say that they didn't want to work at Google because they would be scared that if they did work at Google, they'd have to work in an Angular JS code base. Wait, to be honest, on second thought, that's not a bad argument, so let's disregard that last part. But the point is, I want to break all of these misconceptions that I've heard, and I just want to remind you all that working at Google or Facebook really isn't overrated. In my opinion, it is really good. And by the way, the reason that I titled this video Google and Facebook as opposed to Fang, or even some of the non-Fang companies that really should be in Fang, hint hint Microsoft, is because I have first-hand experience working at Google and Facebook. I've never worked at the other fan companies, so I can't really speak on their behalf, even though I think that a lot of the arguments I'll be presenting in this video do apply to them, but I do have first-hand experience at Google and Facebook as a software engineer, so those are the two companies that I'm really going to be basing myself off of. Now, I do have to give one mandatory disclaimer before I jump into things, which is that this video is not meant to diminish or to attack other companies or to say that fan companies like Google and Facebook Facebook are objectively superior to other companies. No, not at all. Please do not misinterpret me. In fact, there are hundreds, if not even thousands of other companies that are awesome to work at. There are many reasons for which you might want to work at one of these other companies over Google or Facebook. For example, if you tell me that you really want to work at a startup because you want to work at a small company and see it grow into something much bigger, then there are very few arguments that I could give you that would really have merit to persuade you to go go to Google or Facebook. So all this to say that the point of this video is just to convince you that working at Google and Facebook is amazing, it's not overrated, and you have all the reason to want to work there. However, there are indeed many other companies that are great, and I'm not diminishing them. With that said, I'm going to give you four reasons for which you should work at Google or Facebook. The first reason is that by working at a company like Google or Facebook, you get an insane amount of of brand value from those companies. That's right, you get to say that you either currently work or that you previously worked at Google or at Facebook. And it is very important not to underestimate the power of this brand value. Now, before I dive deeper into this, I think it's also very important not to confuse this brand value with prestige or some sort of ego boost. Because this is something that I hear a lot from people. People will say, oh yeah, people just want to work at Google or Facebook because it makes them feel like they're good or it makes them feel superior or whatever. That's not what I'm espousing here. This is not the point that I'm trying to make. In fact, that's kind of a dumb reason to want to work at those companies if it's just an ego boost. Or maybe not dumb, but it's just not a, a super powerful reason, but the brand value is about the opportunities that might present themselves to you by having those brands under your belt. It's kind of similar to going to a prestigious college, like for instance if you are an MIT undergrad, or if you went to Oxford, or if you went to Harvard Business School, all of these things give you a lot of brand value, and it's the same thing with Google and Facebook, or all of Fang, especially in the software engineering space. I'm not exactly sure where this brand value really comes from, perhaps it's because it's very difficult to get into those companies. By the way, if you're trying to get into those companies and you're preparing for coding interviews or systems design interviews, check out my company, AlgoExpert. Go to algoexpert.io and use the promo code CLEM, C-L-E-M, for a discount on the... Fuck. 
I messed up my marketing pitch. Use the promo code CLEM, C-L-E-M, for a discount on the platform. So going back to what I was saying, the point is you have this brand value and it is incredible how powerful it is. Some examples of where this brand value can really serve you well are if you're looking for another job, having Google software engineer on your resume can be extremely helpful. If you're looking to raise funding for a company, having ex-Google software engineer on your resume can be super helpful. If you're starting a YouTube channel in the tech space, being an ex-Google software engineer can be very helpful. If you're looking for a date on Tinder, having Google software engineer, eh, maybe not that helpful there, but you get the idea. Brand value, super important. Don't underestimate it and don't confuse it for prestige or ego boost. The second reason for which you should work at Google or Facebook is the quality of life at those companies. And this is where we're gonna bust the myth that you are overworked at these companies. But so that's right, the quality of life at Google and Facebook is absolutely amazing. It is an understatement to say that the perks and benefits at those companies are incredible. They really are incredible. They really improve the quality of your life. And here I'm talking everything from the free food and super nice office perks that you have at those companies. Although I realize that with the pandemic right now, if you're working from home, you don't really get to take advantage of those perks, but before you did. So I'm talking about all of that. Also, all of the benefits related to finances, like for instance, your 401k options, your health benefits, all of those are incredible. And also all of the benefits that you get just by working at those companies and how they take care of you. If you're a software engineer at Google or at Facebook, you are literally treated like royalty. You have access to some of the best hardware, some of the most comfortable hardware, like we're talking, you know, headphones, keyboards, uh, ergonomics, like, you know, your chair, your desks, all that stuff. It's all incredible. And overall, I would just say that these companies really care about your well being at work and your overall happiness. And and this leads me into the work-life balance topic and the topic of being overworked. And here, I have said it in the past. Those of you who watch a lot of my videos are probably gonna be like, Clement, you're repeating yourself at this point, but clearly it has to be said because I hear other people basing themselves off of this misconception. You will not be overworked as a software engineer at Google. You will not be overworked. I repeat, you will not be overworked no, 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 no. Seriously, I cannot emphasize this point enough because it's simply not true that people at Google or Facebook are overworked. First of all, even if it were true or if there were some hint of truth there, it would largely depend on the team that you're on. In other words, some teams might have slightly harsher work environments. They might ask you to put in more hours or they might expect you to be available at more hours. But from my experience, this simply isn't the case. From my experience working at Google and Facebook, this wasn't the case. From most of the people whom I've talked to who worked at Google and at Facebook on other teams, this wasn't the case. There were maybe a couple of exceptions at Facebook, but even there, the people who were on those teams tended to be pretty happy about it. In other words, they were kind of seeking out the challenge. And also, I will say that if you're not happy with your team or your environment for whatever reason, it's very easy to change teams at Google and Facebook. So that's another sort of argument in favor of the quality of life. If you don't like your quality of life for whatever reason, you have a lot of flexibility and a lot of internal mobility to change your environment and to seek a better quality of life. But as I've said many times in some of my previous videos, at Google especially, the culture around work-life balance was overwhelmingly on the side of not being overworked. It was overwhelmingly on the side of don't put in more than eight hours a day, be wary of your mental health, and just do not overwork yourself. To the point that it was actually kind of annoying if you did want to put in more hours just because you wanted to, because you wanted to push yourself, because you enjoyed it, because it was actively discouraged. Point is, you are not overworked if you work at Google. If there's one thing that you remember from this video, it's that you are not overworked when you work at Google. Frame it in your bedroom if you have to. Put it as the background of your phone screen if you have to. Tattoo 
tattoo it on your forehead if you have to. You are not overworked at Google, and the quality of life at Google and Facebook is unparalleled. The third reason for which you should work at Google and Facebook is the pay. These companies pay extremely well. And I think that a lot of people are aware of this, but they're not aware of how well they pay. They have a misconception around this. This is why I've made a lot of videos sharing how much I made at Google, at Facebook, showing my offer letters, going into great detail to show you. But these companies really do pay extremely well. And by the way, I realize that there are discrepancies depending on where you live, especially if you live outside of the United States. Like if you live in Europe, the salaries are far lower than those in the United States. However, even in those places, they are very good, if not the best salaries for software engineers. So for instance, compare the salary of a Google software engineer in London to the salary of a non-Google software engineer in London, and it'll likely be higher or at least really good. And it's the same thing in the US, because again, here I know that some of you are gonna comment, oh, but you're only basing yourself off the Bay Area or New York City, cost of living, yada, yada, yada. Okay, these are good points. However, they don't apply here because, first of all, there are satellite offices that are outside of these metropolitan areas or of the Silicon Valley Bay Area that you can work at for Google and Facebook, and the salaries there are also really good. But here I'm even just comparing New York salaries where I was at, at companies like Google and Facebook versus other software engineering companies, and the salaries just happen to be higher, or rather the compensation packages, I should say. And this is especially true the more you progress in your career. I think that at the entry level, it's true. For instance, an entry level software engineer at Google or Facebook is looking at anywhere between 160 and maybe 210,000 total compensation for one year in New York City, whereas most other software engineers tend to make quite a bit less. But the more you progress through the software engineering ladders at these companies, in other words, when you become an L4 engineer, like I was at the end of my tenure at Google or when I was at Facebook, or if you become an L5 engineer, a senior engineer, at those levels, the compensation just continues to go up considerably higher than compensation packages for people with the same amount of work experience at other companies. For instance, when I got my offer from Facebook, I did a little bit of research to see what could I get at other companies if I were to apply to other companies, especially not on fan companies, and no other company would have given me anything anywhere close to what Facebook gave me for someone like me who only had two years of work experience. And for context, at Facebook, my first year, I was gonna make $350,000, counting a sign-on bonus, otherwise it was gonna be $270,000. And here, this is not meant to be some like weird flex, but okay bullshit, no, this is just like sharing facts, right? Factually speaking, these companies just pay more. And by the way, this is why I always like to joke that that there is no easier life than the life of an L5 senior software engineer at Google or Facebook, especially one who is not looking to be promoted to staff software engineer because you're getting paid an arm and a leg, like north of $350,000 per year without any sign-on bonuses or anything. You might even be paid north of $400,000 per year and you have a super chill life, super nice quality of life, super nice work-life balance. You don't have to put in more than eight hours a day. You can even put fewer than eight hours a day. Nobody's gonna bat an eye. You can write code, which is fun, presumably if you're a senior software engineer, and it's just a really nice life. And last but not least, the fourth reason for which you should work at Google and Facebook is these two companies and the other fan companies along with them are extremely unique in the unparalleled tools and internal resources that they give you access to, and in the scale of the systems that they maintain and build. Seriously, there are very, very few companies out there that work at the same level of scale as Google or Facebook, for example, and it's incredible what you can learn by just being in those environments. And it's hard to convey without actually being there. I think that the video I made with Jorge from Latin coder who worked at Amazon and who now works at Microsoft, he echoed the feeling that I'm trying to echo here, which is that you just learn so much by being at these companies. It's kind of like going into the hyperbolic time chamber, for those of you who are DBZ fans. You put in six months, 12 months in those companies, and you come out feeling like you've just had five years of software engineering experience under your belt. It really is incredible. That's not to say that you can't learn a ton at other companies. I'm sure that you can, but there is a unique learning environment 
at companies like Google and Facebook and a unique set of internal systems and resources and tools that you simply will not have access to in other places. So those were the four main reasons that I wanted to give you for which you should work at Google and Facebook. There are many others that I didn't cover here. I just gave you the four most important ones. And I hope that I was able to bust some of those misconceptions that we talked about at the beginning. Let me know what you think about this video in the comments below. Do you agree with me? Do you disagree with me? I'm always open for debate. And otherwise, smash the like button if you enjoyed the video. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Follow me on LinkedIn and Twitter if you enjoy short form written content. And otherwise, I will see you in the next video. Fuck, <laughs> <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs>